my name is Grace and if you can't already tell, I live in the Highlands of Scotland. Welcome to my wee home, this is Inverness. I've been here for six years now. It is a city that has more of a town mentality. It kind of feels small and intimate and everybody knows everybody and they all look after each other. Although sometimes they have a bit of a cheeky gossip. Here's my guide as to why Inverness is so blooming brilliant. I spend a lot of time at the theatre. I never thought I'd be a theatre buff, but Eden Court Theatre has a cinema as well as a lovely restaurant, and I've seen multiple shows. We have a local radio station, and on Friday nights, me and the other half, we go bowling. And I don't know how I managed to do this for the camera, but isn't it just skill? Around Inverness, you'll see that a lot of our signs have Gaelic translated because we love the Alba, and our climate is always changing. Sometimes it can go from bright sunshine like this to awful snow like that. And don't believe what anybody tells you, you will acclimatise. <laughs> no, you don't. You do. What I really like about Inverness is it can be a bit of a hub to go other places. You can go and do the North Coast 500 if you want to. You can use it to travel south and go down to the likes of Aviemore and can create, go skiing, go zip wiring, see the wildlife park as well. Or you can go north and go up to Minlochy where you can actually firewalk. Don't worry, your feet are fine afterwards. But to be absolutely honest with you, it's the scenery that does it for me. If you do get the chance, go to Doors Beach. It's the perfect spot for looking across Loch Ness and you might even spot Nessie. And of course, there's a good few bars and restaurants as well. And our nightlife is second to none. I've never known an area to have live music day and night, Monday through to Sunday. But don't get me wrong, it's not just all back-end boozers and things like that. We're bougie as well, and good luck with all of the local distilleries. There's so many near Inverness. And if history and culture is your thing, then travel five minutes east of Inverness and you'll get to a place called Culloden, where there was a very famous battle. I've randomly all of a sudden become an adrenaline junkie, so I mean, if you want to run into Loch Ness, you can. It's just a tad cold. And a lot of my friends are sports fans, so I mean, I'm not shy to go to see the Cali Jags play. And even at the age of 30, I'll not say no to bouncing up and down on Inverness's bounciest bridge. Please try it. I never expected to stay in the Highlands for six years, but here I am. It's phenomenal. It's got everything you need. And despite being a little bit windy, I still love it. And before I go, this isn't a bank machine. It's a fence. <laughs>